Hey folks, it's John with KGTropicals.com bringing you another product review and today we're talking all about the QuietFlow 18 watt hang on the back UV sterilizer from Aquiano. This product was sent to me for the purposes of this review direct from Aquiano. I want to thank them for that. If you want any more information about this product, head over to their website AquionProducts.com. But for now, let's dive down into this thing. All right, so in the box for the Quiet Flow UV sterilizer, uh, this is going to be really difficult to do on camera, folks, but I'm going to do my best. You're going to get your main unit, uh, and as you can tell here, it looks a lot like a regular hang on the back filter, except this part here is where all of the magic happens. That's where the light bulb goes and where all of the UV sterilization actually happens. So, but once you get this hung on the back of your tank, you don't even see that, so it's not a big deal. Over here, we've got our pump. This is what brings the water to the unit to make all of this happen, and then, of course, your lid. So, let's go ahead and assemble everything, and then I'll tell you how it works. It's a nice looking, nice built unit. It's very smooth plastic. Um, you've got these slider little knobs here. Uh, two on the sides, one on the bottom. If you slide them to the unlock position, you can open it up. Again, very difficult to do on camera. You can open it up, and this is where everything is. So basically, the way this unit works, your pump is going to hook onto here. I'll show you that. Well, I mean, I can do that right now. Your pump is going to hook here. This is obviously what's going to go down into the water. Trying to do it all on camera is not exactly an easy thing to do. It needs to line up with this little section here where the cord is going to go. So, and we're going to go ahead and line this through here. I know I'm not doing this very well, but again, you know, trying to do it on camera and trying to watch through the viewfinder and all that is pretty difficult. So, okay, you've got your pump here. This is obviously going to go down into your water. It's going to pump the water up and down through this tube here. Now, your light bulb is going to install... There's, here we go. It's going to install right here. Now, I'm not going to turn this on while we have it open, but when this light is on with all of these reflectors, which the reflectors are on both sides, it's going to concentrate that light right onto this water as it's flowing through here, and that is what's going to create your sterilization. So it's very efficient the way it works. A lot of inline units We'll have a similar scenario, but the water will just go straight through and be exposed to the light. Here, it's actually exposed to the light longer because it's got to come down and then back up again. Once it comes back up again, it gets to this area here where it simply overflows back into your tank, and you can adjust the flow with this knob up here. So it may look complicated. It might look intimidating, but it's actually not. It's, it's very simple to use this. Uh, let's go ahead and put this lid back on here. We got to get all of these slid over to the unlock position. So now it all goes back in. We slide these knobs back up into place so that it's locked and now we're good to go. So you can see now why this unit requires two outlets. You've got one for your pump, which is you know going to pump your water, and then the other is for the light itself. So yes, you do have to have two plugs for this. We're going to talk about that in a minute, but once you get this all together like this, you just put the lid on, and there you go. And that is the unit. I'm actually, uh, I've already recorded the ending to this video, but I'm going to stick this on my discus tank now, because uh, it's a long story. But I'm going to put this on there, but in the end of the video, you're actually going to see it in the uh, Oscar tank. It's going to be in the background and all of that. But uh, yeah, I have since moved it to the discus tank. So, all right, let's go up. Let's talk about details with this. We're going to talk about what I like about it, what I don't like about it. I'm going to tell you where you can get it and how much you're going to pay for it. Hey folks, real quick, I forgot to mention something in the original video and I wanted to make sure I got it in here. 9 o'clock p.m. till 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single Wednesday night. I live stream on the Tank Talk Facebook group. If you're not a member of the group yet, you need to become one now. Come and join me on Wednesday nights. We have all kinds of fun. You can ask me anything. We've gotten into some crazy stuff in those live streams. So it's a blast. Come and join us. Join the group. Just search it up. Or actually, I'll put the link right at the top of the description. Take you straight to the Tank Talk group. Join up and we'll have some fun.
So what does a UV sterilizer actually do? Well, it filters your water in your tank in an entirely different way than what your traditional aquarium filter does. It treats it by exposing the water to that ultraviolet light from that light bulb that I showed you in the close-ups. When the water is exposed to that light, it's gonna kill free-floating algae, all kinds of parasites, and all kinds of other microscopic floaty things in the water. A UV sterilizer is by no means going to take the place of your traditional aquarium filter. This is something that you would add to the system as an extra layer of protection on your tank. The best analogy that I can come up with is your home's air conditioning and heating system. It has one, right? Most houses do. That system in your house circulates the air throughout your house and it makes it cooler or warmer depending on the time of year. But it also has those filters that are up on the wall that you have to replace every month. Those filters pick up pet dander and you know, all the kinds of things that are floating around in the air in your house. But it doesn't pick up the tiny things that you don't even see that are floating around in the air. To do that, you would add an air purification system into your house, some type of electronic air cleaner or something like that. That's what's gonna pick up the teeny tiny things from the air in your home. Well, a UV sterilizer is the same concept. Your traditional aquarium filter is gonna pick up the bulk of the nasty stuff that's floating around in your tank, fish waste, leftover food, things like that. But it can't pick up the microscopic stuff that's floating around. It's so small, it passes right through the filter or the filter sponges and filter socks and stuff like that. The UV sterilizer is gonna be that added layer of protection that's gonna pick up those things. It doesn't pick it up, it basically neutralizes it because it exposes it to that UV light and kills it, free floating algae, parasites, things like that. So what these things do is create an overall healthier environment for your fish. So if you wanna do the right thing and you wanna be able to say you're doing everything you can to keep your tank absolutely healthy, you should add a UV sterilizer to it, no brainer. So how much is the Quiet Flow UV sterilizer from Aquion gonna run you? Well, I did a little Google searching and I found it on kensfish.com for the nine watt version is available for $117.95 in stock right now at the time of recording this video. And the 18 watt version is available for $159.95. Now we do have to talk about one other thing though. It's something that you need to know going in. These things have light bulbs in them. All UV sterilizers have light bulbs in them. Those light bulbs, just like any other light bulb, they burn out through time. Now the manufacturer says that they should last about 10 to 12 months and that's running them full time. So know it going in that you're gonna need to set a date in your calendar to replace those light bulbs in about a year. The light bulbs, they're not cheap folks. The nine watt is $30.95. These are ultraviolet light bulbs, okay? They're not just hairy homeowner light bulbs. The 18 watt version is $50.95. Again, it's not the end of the world. It's once a year. It's not that big of a deal, but you have to know that going in, that you're gonna need to put that on the calendar to replace it every year. But you know what? You're a responsible fish keeper. You wanna absolutely do everything you can to ensure that you're giving your fish the best environment possible. Well, you're gonna need a UV sterilizer for that, and they're not cheap. So I've been using this product for a few weeks now, and in that time, I have discovered a bunch of things about this that I really do like a lot. And the first thing is the form factor of it. It looks exactly like a hang on the back filter. So it's not some big bulky monstrosity that's on the back of your tank. The bulk of this hobby uses hang on the back filters. So this will fit real nicely right next to the one that you probably already have. But even if you're somebody that uses a sump or a canister filter like I have, look how nice it looks. I mean, it's just convenient. It just sits there in the back and it looks really nice. It, it doesn't hurt anything. So I definitely like the form factor of it. I also like the fact that right out of the box, this thing is very easy to assemble, get together and get operational in your tank. It's also very easy to clean. It's really no different than a hang on the back filter. All you have is the light bulb instead of the filter cartridge. It's very, very simple. I like that. I like things that are as simple as possible. If things are overly complicated, people tend to just let them go because they don't feel like messing with them. So if something is really easy to maintain, easy to assemble, it's gonna get a lot more use. So I definitely like that. And the last thing that I was gonna bring up as something that I really do like about it is the fact that this thing is dead silent. It does not make a sound. Now, if you are someone that gets lazy from time to time and you let the water evaporate and your water level goes down a little bit, you will hear that waterfall sound from the water falling in just like you will from your hang on the back filters, but just don't let your water go down. 
and it won't be a problem. The operation of the unit though, the motor and everything else is absolutely dead silent. So now I can't really put on the list how effective this is like oh it the, it's the performance is just absolutely outstanding i really can't say that because i don't know i mean i don't have the ability to test the water at a parasitic level to see if it's all gone from the t i can't really do that all i know is that when you compare the two tanks here which you can't do right now because i i did scrape the discus tank earlier with the uh, actually from aquion the magnetic algae scraper I do notice more algae in the top tank than the bottom tank. Now those, I've got the curtains shut right now. Those tanks are both exposed to direct sunlight. I know, it's stupid, right? But they are. I mean, it, I've got a big sliding glass door right there that I keep open, bringing in sunlight all the time. Otherwise, I feel like I'm down here in a cave. So they are exposed to a lot of sunlight. I get more algae in the top tank than I do in the bottom one. And that is since putting in that UV sterilizer. So that is one of the indications that I have that this thing actually is working. Fish are healthy, they're not sick, there's not algae. I mean, there's some algae, you can't eliminate it all, but yeah, the tank looks good, the fish look good, I guess it's doing its job. So I'm not really gonna manufacture some kind of list of things that I don't like about this product, folks, because there really isn't anything. I like everything there is to like about this. It does what it's supposed to do, at least I think it does. It's quiet, it looks nice, it's built nice. What's not to like about it? But there might be a couple of things that you might not like. It doesn't apply to me, but you might not like it. The first of those things is the fact that it's a hang on the back unit. A lot of people have moved away from hang on the back filters and they've gone to sumps or canister filters those people aren't going to like something like this because they're trying to get away from that stuff hanging on the back of the tank but for most people they're still using hang on the back filters and for that it's going to fit nicely right next to your regular aquarium filters no big deal the other thing is the fact that it requires two outlets i know i mean who would that really bother? But some people might be troubled by that. The fact that you have to have two freed up outlets to run this thing. I don't know. I just had to come up with something. Doesn't bother me at all, but you know, it might bother you. So my final thoughts on the Quiet Flow UV Sterilizer from Aquion. Yes, absolutely. I would recommend it to anyone that's in the market for a UV Sterilizer. But I want to set your expectations properly because I think there is a big misconception about what a UV Sterilizer is going to do on your aquarium. It's not the kind of thing that you're going to go to the store and buy one of these, bring it home, put it on your tank, and instantly all of your problems go away. doesn't work that way. Let's go back to the analogy of your home's air conditioning and heating system. If you were to go out and buy the most elite air purification system, super expensive, state-of-the-art system, put it in your house, you're not gonna notice anything right off the bat. It's not like you're gonna come home and be like, oh my God, the air is so clear in my house. No, it doesn't work that way. It's not until about two weeks later that you wake up and you say, you know what? I haven't been sniffly in the mornings like I used to be. And you know, I, I haven't heard the kids sneezing like they used to. That is when you realize that your air purification system is doing its job. This, kind of the same thing. It's not going to solve your problems right when you put it in your tank. It might help if you have a huge algae bloom, but it's, it's not going to be one of those things that's going to be night and day when you put it in your tank. It's going to be something that's doing its job and you don't even realize that it's happening. It's creating a healthier environment overall for your fish and you don't even know it. You don't even realize it until a while later where you're thinking, you know what? My plants seem healthier. My fish seem healthier. They're, I'm not losing fish as much as I used to. They just seem more vibrant. Everything, that's when you know that your UV sterilizer is doing its job. So understand that going in. Have the right mindset going in. It's not going to instantly fix your problems. So I want to thank Aquion once again for sending me this product to review for you. I have enjoyed using it. I'm going to continue using it. I may even try to move it up to the discus tank, or I might just buy another one and have one in both tanks. Again, if you want more information about this product, head over to aquionproducts.com. All the information that you'll need is in there. They have even downloadable brochures and stuff like that. If you want to order one right now, I'll put the link in the description below to kensfish.com where you can order one right now for yourself. It Making it easy for you folks. That's what I'm trying to do. So thank you so much for watching this and I look forward to talking to you again next time.